Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add some camera shake using Nuke. So first of all I'm just going to import a clip so I'm just going to drag and drop that into Nuke and uh, then I'm just going to connect my viewer by pressing 1 to that and then in this view area I'm just going to press H to resize the clip to that area. So really simple clip here, just something I shot handheld. So I'm going to just stop that, go back to the first frame. And with this clip selected, I'm going to press tab on my keyboard. And then I'm just going to type camera and you'll see camera shake, just select that. And that will automatically place your camera shake connected uh, to that node. So we can go ahead and change these properties of this camera shake. So if you look at the properties panel here on the side, you'll see all these different options like your amplitude, uh, rotation, scaling, frequency, etc. So if I play through this with the default settings, you'll see uh, it's going to render a little bit slower um, and something is actually happening already. So let me just stop that and go back to the first frame. And I'm just going to drop the quality by clicking on the one colon one here at the top. And I'm just going to set this to a quarter so that it renders a little bit quicker. And already you can see there's a little bit of shake going on. So let me just go into the properties and explain some of these options to you. So first of all, amplitude, that is the amount of shake. So if I increase that all the way to two, you'll see that we've got a lot of shake going on. And then we've also got the rotation. So if you set this to, let's say 15, you'll see that it's going to shake and the camera is going to rotate as well. And uh, then we've got the scaling, which is basically going to kind of zoom in and zoom out. Um, so that's kind of self-explanatory. So it's going to kind of zoom in, as you can see, crazy effect. And uh, then you've got your frequency, which is the amount of shakes. So if you set this to something like one, you'll get a very fast, quick shaking camera move. And if we set this down to like 0 0.03 or something, then you'll get a very slow moving camera shake. So not really what we want. So I'm going to set the frequency back to default. So to set something back to default, you can just right click on the value and click on set back to default. And I'm going to set my scaling back to zero. Don't want any of that. And rotation, I'm going to leave on zero as well. So we're back at, at this kind of effect. Another thing that's built into the uh, camera shake in Nuke is the motion blur. So very handy, actually. If you set this to zero, you won't get any motion blur. And if you set this to, let's say, something like four, which is uh, quite a bit, you'll see that we've got some uh, nice motion blur going on. So I'm going to set my motion blur to 1 and in the amplitude, I don't really want to set it to 100. Let's set it to something about around 50. And obviously we can also play with the frequency to make it a bit quicker, maybe around 0 0.7. Okay, so let's say we want to animate the camera shake to animate on and then animate off again. So let's say we want to start shaking the camera at around 50 frames and then at around 80 frames we want to stop that camera shake. So really easy in Nuke. So I'm going to go to around frame 50 and I'm going to right click on my amplitude value and I'm going to set a key. So that's basically going to set a keyframe there. And then I'm going to go to around, let's say, frame 40 and then I'm just going to bring the amplitude down to zero. So that means it's going to start fading in the camera shake from frame 40 to 50 and the value is going to be 52. And then we want to keep the camera shake there to, let's say, to around 70. And we want to set another keyframe on frame 70. So I'm just going to right click on this value here, set key. And then I'm going to go to frame 80. And I'm just going to bring this value down to zero. So I'm just going to use a slider all the way down to zero. And it's automatically going to set a new keyframe there. So I'm just going to play through this quickly. Okay, so there we go. We've got some nice camera shake going on. You can see we've got motion blur, everything in there. And it's really simple to use it in Nuke. So go ahead and uh, try it out, see what you think. And also remember to download your free non-commercial version of Nuke. Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.